Well, for Provo, Utah, two 2 0 teams are going to meet tonight. A game that wasn't even on the schedule a couple weeks ago. Undefeated BYU against undefeated Louisiana Tech from Lavelle Edwards Stadium. It's college football all night. Baby around a little if you, bit. If you just toss the tight ends off the roster, Andre's a fan. <laughs> From a pistol-type formation, they hand the ball off and the tackle in the backfield. A lot for Louisiana Tech. Putting it out to Tude here in Provo, so he should have a fun night kick. Just get him the football and, and let him do his thing. Ball, he doesn't hold it very long. Wilson gets rid of it quickly on the first play from scrimmage for BYU. And the tight end, Isaac Rex. Who Isaac Wilson has taken off. The big boys are in there for third and one. Handoff left side and a first down and more for the Cougars. Lapini Katoa. They've got two talked about leading into this game. Week one was more about power. Week two, they were airing it out. They have been a big play offense as well. There's Gunnar Romney, who changed directions and gets across midfield for a nice first down game. They've done. BYU's defense forced the punt. Their offense on the move. Still early in this game. Wilson on the move. Will throw downfield, and that one is caught along the sideline. Dax Milne coming off a huge game last week. Thumb injury, shoulder injury. Just wasn't himself, and took the offseason to heal up. Shoulder surgery. I think he's throwing the ball stronger and more accurate. It is first and goal. The ball spotted just inside the 10. Algier in. Wilson faked it to him and keeps it. Zach Wilson, the speed, and he dives for the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, what a fake. And I'm not sure the itch. Number 95, keep your eyes on him. There aren't many players like him in college football. A little hesitation, and that was not the right decision, I don't think, for Henderson. Holtz, college football Hall of Famer. Skip, whose name is Lou, but nicknamed Skip, out into the open field. Louisiana Tech's got a big game. Smoke Harris off and running to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown. What a great catch and run for Smoke Harris. Fish play on the outside made that play. Just 5'6", doesn't necessarily look the part, but he can move and he can play. Tyler Algier on first down for BYU, straight ahead run. Contributing in, the, in that run by Smoke Harris. No, really impressive. That was a team big play. The catch for Milne. He's gang tackled toward the left sideline. Line a lot of energy <laughs> over here. Let the play do the talking. Algier turned that one nicely upfield for a BYU first down. Close to mid can throw. They can block. They're missing their two starters up the middle on the offensive line tonight. You wouldn't know it so far. Milne got spun down after offseason in which to work with. Wilson throws far right. The catch, the turn, and fighting for that yardage. I don't think he got there. I think they know the in fourth, in fourth down situations for this offense. And they sneak it forward. The ball pops out and picked up somehow by BYU down the sideline. Cutting it back inside. Gunnar Romney, the man on the spot. Now they, they have blown the play down. By rule. On fourth and one. On fourth down. The fumbler must recover his fumble in order to advance. Therefore, it is dead when it was recovered. First down, Louisiana Tech. Now that's a good explanation. Yes. That is the rule. X runs. They get the first down. They decide to go fast. Four receivers left. Anthony looking downfield over the top. He's got a man open. He floated it up, though, and the pass is intercepted. Yeah. Troy Warner there to make the interception. It's to be knifed. In the, into uh, the receiver's chest. Can't float it up and allow the, 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 uh, the defensive back to make a play on it. Give up anything big and then force third and long to get yourself off the field. Wilson throws the slant, and that one was stopped for a nice mod. You, you know it at 6'3", 195, throw it into the area. Pressure comes. They get it to Romney, and Romney tried to turn it upfield. The open field tackle stopped him, and really good so far this year. That was a mistake. It led to an interception. He faked a throw here and gets wrestled to the ground. That officially, I think, is going to be a sack. Looked like he lost a yard. Kicking himself a little bit. Loss of down penalty. That punt pressured, but a nice punt with Milne going all the way back inside the 40. He'll turn it up and go out of bounds. Guineau, that was last week. Now playing their third game. La Tech, though, has come to play. It's 7-7. A little slant to Milne, who gets... Tackled at the 47-yard line, a first down game. He wouldn't say it, but uh, I, I, uh, I definitely think this is the best group he's had. I'm saying it. Wilson, a juke move, and 
Went into a slide, so I think they're going to spot him. It almost the looked play. like he was going to go foul. head first. Yeah, face, face mask, mask yeah. at the Defense end of that. Even under center, Wilson. Handoff, Algier straight ahead. Boy, he's physical, isn't he? He is. You talk about. Algier behind Wilson in that pistol formation. They hand it off to Algier. Broke a tackle and gets the first down and much more down inside the 25. Ball. So first and 10, Cougars under center again with the play fake. Wilson in the pocket. Throws over the top and it is caught in the end zone. What a throw. Touchdown. Carter Wheat, the third tight end for BYU. What a throw. I mean, the placement of the ball could not have been better. Either Carter Wheat was going to catch it or no one was. I like him looking left and then putting it in a spot. Second and six. They'll hand it off again. Left side and just nowhere to go. Loss of the yard. Yeah, he missed a cut. So another punt. This one not quite as booming. Kind of off the side of the foot. Out of bounds. We'll see where they spot BYU. Getting the ball back across the 40. Still going at about the back a little farther than that with Drew Brees. Sort That's commitment. Learned how to study the game from one of the all-time greats. That is commitment. And when you have... Under eight minutes to go first half. Wilson with time across the middle. Hit his receiver in stride. That's Wheat the tight end again. And a nice effort from Carter Wheat to get the first down. The way he prepared and worked. And he thinks of film study as his advantage. Other people maybe aren't doing as much of. Yeah, it's a good point. Thank you, Stormy. Hand off. He does have it. And I think that has a, a, a lot to do with his development and how he plays. When you can... You, you build that special relationship over time. They got there like, hey, coach, I saw, did you see this play from two weeks ago? I think we can do a version of that. And yeah. he, he sort of mimicked the enthusiasm in Zach Wilson's voice. He zips that one wow. there to the pylon, and it's caught for a touchdown, Gunnar Romney. My goodness. Doesn't hurt to have athletes like that on the other end of it, for sure. What a throw and maybe even a better catch. 23 yards. That was a high degree of difficulty. He really started to come on about the last third of the season, his freshman year, Gunnar Romney, and things got comfortable to him. I think he extends over the pylon. But what, did the, what about that throw? Let me just put it in a spot wow. and see if my guy can make a play. After further review, the receiver was out of bounds with the ball short of the goal line. They'll hand it off to Algier. He goes left side and pushes in. Touchdown. So it took him an extra play on the ground. BYU makes it 20-7. to Which is on it. That's how you know your team is rolling when you get time to teach dance moves. Little dump short, and what an open field tackle for BYU. And the guy who I think has really stood out, Peyton Wilgars. Trying to pin BYU deep, fair catch, but it bounces into the end zone. So, look who's here among the uh, cardboard cutouts. Not just John Stockton, but the great Carl Malone. As BYU has the ball, two-minute drill here. The Tech, he's got the We Are La Tech t-shirt on for tonight. You knew Stockton wouldn't be that far away from <laughs> Just from a Malone, bounce pass right? away. <laughs> that was a nice delivery from Wilson, so two quick. Quarterback draw, and that, that kind of cranks it up to get him going. Wilson throws wide open nice along throw. the sideline. The step out of bounds by Milne. Exclamation point on the first half. Shotgun snap for Zach Wilson. A lot of time. Throws and right nice. there. Another beautiful delivery to Milne. That's knife and one in. As Andre said, they got those two timeouts still. Play fake. Toward the end zone. That's another knife right there for the touchdown. It's hard to defend. Split the defense. There aren't a whole lot of quarterbacks across the country that can make that throw. And I told you earlier, when you go too high and you're trying to play cover two, the weakness of the defense, the outside third, he just knifed it right in there. First half, and Gunnar Romney has six of those receptions for 80 yards. Holds the safety and then decides to just crank one. Should have the middle of the field again. Getting pressured, though, and he's going to go down. It's unbelievable. Just three-man rush. And it's 261 right off the edge. Just the three-man rush, and he's going he's gonna to be able to get home. Well, we mentioned it. They do have a kicker who's got a big leg. 
Anthony on third down is going down again. Got hit from behind and driven to the ground. Guess who? Tyler Batty. Again, two sacks on this drive. You know, I am a, a guy that believes CYU. that you can never score too many points in the first that. half you are. of a football game. Yes, you are. Yes. I mean, you can't get enough. Good Barnes, the punter, and he was pressured. There was some contact. I didn't see a flag thrown, though. A short punt down. Down. Just dropping dimes all over the place here in the first half. So the Cougars at home with a 28-7 halftime lead over Louisiana Tech. It's time to head to studio for our AT&T 5G halftime report after these messages. You can't really even describe him because of how the how he places the football. He gets it done with his legs. It's, a, it's, it's really been fun to watch. How about his H-back hurdling a defender? Breaking tackles on the move. Mason Wake, what a play. He's an athlete. Well, I, I'm believing him. Play fake. Wilson looking deep. He'll go deep and right in stride hits his man. That's Paolo for a big game. I think they're up to about four now. Yeah, that's where you got you got to search to find the flaws right now with this BYU team. Off the back foot, still put it right in his receiver's hands. And some more muscle after the catch for Isaac Rex. I mean, I knew you liked this guy, but I can tell just listening to you how much you like Zach Wilson. There's Algier out in the open field, inside the 15, inside the 10, and finally wrestled out of bounds. It'll be first and goal, BYU. Again, the game, I formation under center. Second and goal, play fake, Wilson rolling, and he'll just cut it and walk in for the touchdown. If there's a weakness in his game, somebody needs to send it to me because I can't find it. All the film I've watched on the kid. And in 2020, no team really has been impacted more schedule-wise during the pandemic than BYU, but they are certainly doing what they can against the teams that they are playing to impress. <laughs> With a squat rack on your back. Third and ten. Pressure. Anthony dancing around. He got away from it. Now trying to run for the first down. Gets tripped up a couple yards short. La Tech will punt. Fair catch. Can I watch a minute? Make them tell you no. Algier straight ahead nice. run with a huge hole. And now we get to see the speed of the big guy. Down the sidelines. Tyler Algier. Touchdown on the first play of the drive for the Cougars. Hmm. Maybe that step. Maybe. I don't know. After further review, the runner stepped out of bounds in the 31-yard run. No touchdown. Hand it off. Interesting play. And the cut upfield by Pau. An 18, 18, 317, and four touchdowns. Well, he's accounted for four touchdowns tonight. Two in the air and two on the ground. So this kid's something else. No stranger to near perfect games, perfect games. He's pitching another one tonight. Play fake. Swings it out left. That's Milne. Spins away from one would be tackler, not a second. Old Royd. Sophomore. Oh, well, we're going to have a do over because uh -huh. the kick was good. Outside. Outside. Defense, Defense number two. The penalty is declined. They'll take the points. Yeah, they went in. Kick return for the Bulldogs. The special teams coverage has been outstanding for BYU. Another handoff, this time smothered by the Cougars. A yard when they needed three. Barnes with the fair catch made at the 28. 35. SEC record. In, in Baton Rouge. In Baton Rouge. To LSU this week and fought and scratched against Texas A&M. Uh, they almost left. joining us late. BYU's down their two best offensive linemen tonight. Their center and their right guard. Strength of the offensive line right up the middle. Wow, what Wilson a throw. just slung that one almost sidearms. Fourth catch for Neil Pau. First down, BYU. Back to throw. That a back shoulder throw right there for Gunnar Romney along the sideline. Another first down inside the 30, down to the 20. The not just the ball security, the ball handling, a little pitchback play, and Wilson was acting like he wanted to make a block. He tries, did. Tries to throw one. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's 38 to seven. Dak. And, and on the money. Don't be stubborn. 
No Here doubt. Comes pressure, and Wilson recognized it. Streaks straight up the middle, still spinning, dives for the end zone, touchdown. What a great run. His third rushing touchdown of the game. And that one took some skill. I think the Mountain West worked closely with BYU. There's still some wiggle room in there. Yeah, I think it's possible they could find another yeah. game somewhere along the line. Beating the card. <laughs> I, I just can't claim a lot of expertise. But it's a big event tomorrow night. Check it out. Anthony on the run and a nice throw into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, he bought to play whatever schedule or, or have an opponent to play yeah. from week to week. And that's where it's going to be. It's just going to be really hard at the end of the year. As impressive as BYU is, Tech scored the first touchdown that BYU's allowed in a second half of any game. We'll pitch back to Miles Davis. Now, we saw this kid run at the end of last week's game, and he looked really impressive. Touchdown season where he accounted for 50 touchdowns in 2018. Pressure comes. Allen hit. And was it picked off? Yes, it was. So that should do it. The interception scooped up off the turf. About BYU, considering BYU, how impressive have they have they been this year? And, and they have a quarterback. You you were singing his who, praises right from the start, who is one of the best players in the country. I think he is, and I think he needs to be recognized as such. And I think throughout the, the remainder of this year, people are going to really find out just how special Zach Wilson is. The Cougars went down in the rankings after last week's win. I think this week they're going to climb back up again. The 22nd ranked team in the country. The final seconds tick off the clock. 45-14. Zach Wilson, another spectacular game. And a word from Skip Holtz for him as the two teams walk off the field. Well, they scheduled this game two weeks ago. And I, I, I think Louisiana Tech is thrilled just to have a football game to play, but Maybe even back then they didn't know exactly what they were getting into with this BYU club.